As you may have heard, this summer there were allegations of a toxic work environment at our show. It doesn't mean it's true. It just means I'm in denial. I feel like he is really doing a good thing right now. I gave over $150,000 of my money to my subscribers and customers. But unfortunately, the giveaways are leaving a trail of scams along the way. Ellen DeGeneres' apology might be less than genuine, and Jeffree Star tries to buy followers. Before I get into the tea, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to Ellen DeGeneres, Jeffree Star, or anyone else involved in this story. This video is simply meant to report on the news. Ellen DeGeneres has always been known for being a charitable and kind person. However, some allegations have come out claiming that Ellen might not be as friendly as everyone thinks. In March 2020, comedian Kevin T. Porter tweeted out, Right now, we all need a little kindness. You know, like Ellen DeGeneres always talks about. She's also notoriously one of the meanest people alive. Respond to this with the most insane stories you've heard about Ellen being mean, and I'll match everyone with $2 to LA Food Bank. The tweet got many replies from people who had worked for Ellen or had interacted with her. A month later, Variety reported that Ellen's producers were not communicating with staff members during the pandemic and many employees were worried about their jobs. Not long after, YouTuber Nikki Tutorials came out as transgender and was invited to be on Ellen's show. Later, Nikki spoke with a Dutch publication and told them, Call me naive, but I kind of expected to be welcomed with confetti cannons. Welcome to the Ellen DeGeneres show! But instead, I was greeted by an angry intern who was a bit overworked. Nikki also said Ellen never came to say hello before the interview, and the other guests on the show got their own private washrooms and she didn't. In July, BuzzFeed News released a report detailing allegations of racism and that was happening between producers and employees on set. A black woman who worked at Ellen claimed she dealt with microaggressions from senior level employees about confusing her with another colleague. Oh wow, you both have box braids. I hope we don't get you confused. Another employee claimed they were discriminated against after taking time off for their mental health. Neil Breen, an Australian TV executive, said he was told not to look at Ellen when he worked with her in 2013. In late July, Ellen sent a note to her staff taking responsibility for some things, but pushing the blame onto producers for others. On day one of our show, I told everyone in our first meeting that the Ellen DeGeneres show would be a place of happiness. No one would ever raise their voice, and everyone would be treated with respect. Obviously, something changed, and I am disappointed to learn that this has not been the case. And for that, I am sorry. I'm also learning that people who work with me and for me are speaking on my behalf and misrepresenting who I am, and that has to stop. As someone who was judged and nearly lost everything just for being who I am, I truly understand and have deep compassion for those being looked at differently or treated unfairly, not equal, or worse, disregarded. To think that any one of you felt that way is awful to me. Ellen added that an investigation would be taking place, and they were working to make the set a better place to be. In early August, many celebrities defended Ellen, including Kevin Hart, Katy Perry, and Ashton Kutcher. Katy Perry tweeted out, I know I can't speak for anyone else's experience besides my own, but I want to acknowledge that I have only ever had positive takeaways from my time with Ellen and on The Ellen Show. I think we have all witnessed the light and continual fight for equality that she has brought to the world through her platform for decades. Sending you love and a hug, friend. The same day Katie tweeted, Ellen's former DJ, Tony Okambawa, posted on Instagram about his experience on the show. I was on-air talent from 2003 to 2006 and from 2007 to 2013. While I am grateful for the opportunity it afforded me, I did experience and feel the toxicity of the environment, and I stand with my former colleagues in their quest to create a healthier and more inclusive workplace as the show moves forward. Kevin Hart posted on Instagram defending Ellen. The pair have been friends for years. It's crazy to see my friend go through what she's been going through publicly. I have known Ellen for years, and I can honestly say that she's one of the dopest people on the planet. She has treated my family and my team with love and respect from day one. This post is not meant to disregard the feelings of others and their experiences. 
It's simply to show what my experiences have been with my friend. Love you for life, Ellen. Ashton Kutcher also defended Ellen on Twitter. I haven't spoken with Ellen and can only speak from my own experience. She and her team have only treated me and my team with respect and kindness. She never pandered to celebrity, which I always saw as a refreshing honesty. When things aren't right, she handles it and fixes. Ellen's current DJ, Twitch, stood by her when he spoke with us weekly. Obviously, there's some things to address, but from my standpoint, and from countless others, there's been love. I'll just leave it at that until there's a time where we can address it more publicly. There's been love, and there will continue to be love. Several viewers also wanted Ellen replaced. The Sun speculated that James Corden could take over hosting the show. Replace Ellen with me. I am gay and also mean. Get rid of Ellen and replace her with Trisha Paytas. At the end of August, Ellen had an emotional call with her staff and let them know the show would be parting ways with three producers because of the allegations. Fans were unsure if Ellen would actually come back to television after all of the drama. Then, on September 21st, Ellen returned for her 18th season. In the monologue from her first episode of the season, Ellen apologized for everything that had happened over the summer. In the apology, she took responsibility for the situation. However, she made several jokes throughout her statement. This is the Ellen DeGeneres show. I am Ellen DeGeneres. My name is there. My name is there. My name is on underwear. I'm excited to see all of my staff and crew. Hi everybody, please don't look me in the eye. Oh, I'm kidding. But I will be passing out gum for everyone. Kidding again. A lot of viewers weren't impressed with Ellen's apology. I can't believe Ellen's apology video was just, sometimes I get mad, and then she clapped for herself. Ellen DeGeneres' apology was and no one in their right mind should defend it. God damn it was awful. And starting the apology off with a joke when all the claims rumors were about and in general is not okay. If you thought that apology was genuine, go f yourself. Ellen was accused of horrible workplace behavior by many people and decided it was cool to insert jokes in her monologue. A former employee spoke to BuzzFeed News. Not only did Ellen turn my trauma, turn our traumas into a joke, she somehow managed to make this about her. When she said, oh, my summer was great, and that was supposed to be funny, I thought, it's funny that you had a rough summer because everyone was calling out all the allegations of your toxic work environment, and now you're the one suffering? A current employee also spoke with BuzzFeed News. The employee complained about the lack of communication between them and their superiors, and that they didn't know what direction the season would be going in until the first episode. The current employee describes Ellen's apology as tactical. The average person will listen to it and make their own choices, but what people don't always take into account is that information is power, and she's sharing it now because it's for premiere week and it's to get viewers back, and that just feels the opposite of what this message is about. It will be interesting to see how Ellen's new season plays out. We'll have to see if more celebrities support Ellen, or if more allegations will come out. Hopefully, Ellen will address her fans' feelings about the apology soon. What do you think about her apology? Do you believe it was genuine? On September 22nd, Jeffree Star took to Instagram to talk about a big giveaway on his story. I do a lot of stuff behind the scenes. The pandemic has been oh, very overwhelming for a lot of my friends and family um, and people around me. So I try to help as many people as I can. So today, let's go on Twitter, let's give back, and let's give away some money. Jeffrey then tweeted out, I'm going to give away $10,000 to three random people who retweet this and follows me. If you don't follow me, can't DM you the money. Much love. A few hours later, he tweeted, Side note, drop me your cash app and I'm going to help as many people as I can tonight until my limit hits. Thank you for all the support, always. Twitter users had mixed feelings about the giveaway, considering Jeffree Star has been involved in many recent controversies. Some were thankful at the opportunity to get money and tweeted out why they needed it. I've been following you for a long time. I hope you see this. I'm really needing help for my three boys. I'm trying so hard to find a job and having zero luck. They are trying so hard to stay positive right now, and so am I, but bad luck keeps following us. Credit cards are maxed out. Single mama, working two jobs, going to college full time. Behind on bills and getting into debt with student loans, plus might be getting surgery. Nights have been hard since I'm such an overthinker. I've been looking for a blessing lately. Others thought users were being hypocritical. Everyone hates you until you give money away. Shaking my head. I agree. It's sad. All people do is talk 
but once he throws money, they cling to him. I hate hypocrites. Some users claimed they weren't fans, but just wanted the money. We still hate him, but we'll gladly accept the money. Yes, I hate Jeffree Star, but when you see me entering those giveaways, turn away, I am poor. After Jeffree posted about the giveaway, he began trending on Twitter. Twitter users weren't impressed. Jeffree Star isn't allowed to be trending. Jeffree Star is trending? Ick. Imagine supporting a racist. He's a terrible person, sis. Many people can't forgive Jeffrey for his controversial past, but some people are willing to take his money even though they dislike him. What do you think about Jeffree Star giving away money to his followers? Do you think it's hypocritical to not support him but still try to get the money? Let me know in the comments below.